noticed when when I was working with you and when uh, when I was working when I've been working with my students, um, I've noticed huge changes, but not just in confidence. Uh, I would say the step by step process to look at situations from a different perspective. So I've noticed where people would just almost be rushed off their feet that almost simplify everything into a solution focused approach or they'd break down what was supposedly complex uh, into a step-by-step -step achievement to attain that end result. So because you and I have worked with, I'd say, well, people from all walks of life, all types of careers, we've worked with, yeah. you name it, between the two of us, there's been uh, counsellors to uh, doctors, to people who are waitresses, to people who are parents, to people who are engineers, to people who are whatever that is. We've worked with all those people. And the same process is they have all changed within themselves, which means they changes in their job roles, which means they have pushed themselves either up in their level of productivity, they've pushed themselves and changed in the way they view the, the, the situation, they've broken down the way they communicate, they're more accepting of certain things. So it really is a life-changing experience that you see in the students. And it is quite a phenomenal turnaround when they reach these aha moments because it's like they're working out their problems in their pictures and their paintings but they're not realizing that they're doing yeah. that so whatever they if they're having disagreements or problems with communications with say parents-in-law or which some of my students were having or I remember what some of my parents were uh, students were going through um you know uh, having to go after their loved ones who'd been in operations or they had brain tumors or cancer or been in car accidents uh, or, you know, remember, we remember certain students we had, we knew of highly stressed uh, things that they were going through and about to lose their business and they had to come up with new ideas very quickly. We started really seeing the impact of, uh, by helping them focus on the actual art lesson. So when I know, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you noticed this as well, is that like when we'd ask them to draw the cup. And they'd fight the cup and they go, I'm not getting this painting right or this drawing right. And you say, okay, so what are we going to do about it? Well, it's not working. It's just, it's all coming to pieces. And you obviously know that they're talking about whatever is going on in their life at that moment. But you don't, they don't even need to tell you what that is. And you say, okay, so let's sit down together and let's work it out. Let's work a plan. And then we'd sit down and say, okay, so let's take this drawing the oval and let's make it even more simpler than what you know it to be let's make it a way that you understand and then we'd work through that and then you'd almost help them get over that hurdle and then they go oh yeah okay yeah 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 and then then they get over that hurdle and then there would be the next step and then they get over that hurdle and then they get over this next step and then they get over that hurdle but it was simple quick short hurdles that they got over that by the time they'd finished that project they would have literally gone through so many hurdles connected that they would have worked out the situation they were going through unconsciously that I remember students coming into the class going by the way I have a story to tell you we now have blah this has been resolved I'm feeling better my test results are different yeah. or, or, or are this but I can handle it uh, this is how I've coped through this is how I've changed did you I mean wasn't that wonderful for you to be in that position to when you get to those students the balance was the fact that you were you would push them and push them and it would be tiring and you'd push them to take accountability for themselves and love them enough to take accountability for themselves that when they reached that aha moment we'd all cry together to see the change in that person that they had achieved by themselves without you know and they'd worked it out through their art piece how was that for you because that, that that was such a, an interesting experience when working with uh, students. Very much so. I mean, I think it was about a month ago, I was doing a crit on the paint. I think there was seven artists or 10 in, in the studio. And I've got all their paintings out on display and I'm, I'm now doing an official crit and I just burst out crying because the artwork was absolutely amazing. They work, but what's wrong with you? And I said, but this is fantastic. So I remember when, I think it were two individuals who, who initially attend my, attended my class and they were 
very formal, um, very withdrawn, um, defensive, tense. President. And then I look back, and that was yesterday when I look back, just to remind me how far they have come. I was trying to do a demo in the studio while the other students were having their tea break. I had to close the door because of the noise that was coming from the kitchen. And who were the noisiest ones and who were, who were clowning around these two same individuals who were very shy and um, weren't social as, at, at all. And I had to say, kids, calm down. They have totally opened up emotionally. Um, they are actually the jokers in the class now. Um, they, they feel comfortable. Um, they they trust in the environment. I mean, they've come out of their shells. I mean, they, they've got the, they are so funny. You know, whereas before they were um, closed, very closed. Now they're very open people to the extent where I go, okay, that's way too much information. Now just calm down a bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and for me, I. I I just had this warm, fuzzy feeling. And it's not me, Justine. I'm just a conduit. I'm just a vehicle for, for, for things to happen. Mm. You know, that, but I was just so honored that I could witness it.